spin move entrance. What's up guys, how you doing? Hit the thumbs up button for the sweet, sweet spin move entrance. Guys, this is a video about, I get, it's, it's, a, it's a trending thing right now. Um, a lot of channels are talking about this, about the yeard. And if you don't know what a yeard is, it's a year long beard. It's a, it's, a, it's a combination of those two words in a very clever way, the yeard. So what a yeard is, of course, is literally just you growing your beard for a year. And to give you an estimate, like what you can expect lengthwise after a year is about what I have. So you can expect something similar to this uh, after a year. Um, but it, it's not all just letting it grow out and you get this. It's not all that. There's, there's a lot that goes into it, not a lot, but there's some things that go into that are very important that you need to know. And me, I got the inside scoop because I, I got one, okay? I got a beard, so I know, what, I know what's up. So trust me when I tell you these things. I'd say there's about five steps to growing a beard. Number one is just simply quit shaving. Throw away your razors. Don't throw them away because you'll need them a little bit. You and your razors are taking a temporary break, a little cooling off period, as the husbands and wives say these days. Number two, you're just gonna let it grow. Now in the first month, um, all you're gonna experience, you're not gonna have a, a bunch of growth. You can expect about a centimeter per month. Um, so at the end of a year, you're looking at about six inches, five to six inches, hopefully. Um, and that depends. Some people have patchy beards, some people have full, full beards. Some of it is genetics, some of it's age. Some things you can help, some things you can't. So let's talk about that. Um, when you, if you're under 20 or 21, you're probably not gonna be able to grow a decent beard. Um, it's just how it is. Me, I was blessed at a young age because I'm half, I'm half Arab. So I have the genetics of like the really hairy, but, but, but what comes with that is like my hairy back, hairy chest. I'm a very hairy person in general. Uh, you don't want to see my armpits, trust me. I would do it to you, but I'm going to be nice today. Genetics plays a part for sure. Age plays a part as well. Um, I'm 31 now. Uh, when, I was, when I was 21, I could grow hair um, pretty decently, but I couldn't grow a full thick beard. I had just like, just like you guys have probably the weird lines that would go like here and then go down here and then cut across. This stuff wasn't filled in over here. It was just a little bitty soul patch. Um, I would have little spots throughout that wouldn't grow in fully. Um, but that with age and with time, that comes. If you have those little patches, like little tiny patches throughout the beard, it's not a huge problem. Even if I, because even if I had patches right now in this beard, you wouldn't really see it um, because of how thick and long it's been growing and the, it would, the, the hair would just cover them. So it's not a huge deal. <clears throat> but one very, very, very important thing you need to remember in that first month is beard oil. Beard oil is what's gonna be your, it's gonna be the light at the end of your tunnel. It's gonna be what saves you from the itch. Now the itch, if you have a beard, you already know what the itch is. If you don't have a beard and you're gonna grow one, you're gonna find out what the itch is. The itch is just literally like your jaw underneath, wherever the hair is growing, um, it tends to get itchy. And that's because your skin will get dry because your hair is using all the oils from your face and it's just drawing it out and putting it into the hair. Um, so at a point, it's fine. But after you get a certain length, it's drawing all the oil out of your face into the hairs and they get too long where there's nothing left on your face. It's uh, called sebum or something like that, I believe. And so you need to replace that oil with beard oils. Now, a great uh, company, I talk about them all the time on this channel, uh, Artius Man. They're great. This is, um, this is actually their new scent, the, uh, this is actually their new scent, the Citrus Grove. It smells awesome. It's like a, um, it's like a fresh citrus. It smells like an orange farm almost, but a little bit like fresh. It's really weird. It's not really weird. It's really good. Um, some they just came out with. I'm enjoying that. I've only used it like twice now. Uh, but a, a great thing about the beard oils is you can get a bunch of different scents and make your face smell good. And trust me, girls will want to touch your beard, especially in that beginning like month. Uh, Girls are, girls, girls are attracted to that stubble thing. There's been studies and like polls taken of girls and like what they find the most attractive. Um, and that first month phase with the stubble is probably the most attractive to women usually. Um, but the longer beards um, actually are girls that are looking to settle down. Um, that's kind of what they're attracted to in a weird way. They, they look at it as a, they, I they believe they look at it as like a, uh, just a symbol of a, of a mature man, <laughs> I think. Which kind of befuddles me because you know how, ma you know how mature I am. But yeah, beard oil is gonna be your savior. The great thing about, the reason why I like this company, the Artius Man Company, um, number one, customer service is amazing with them. They have the, probably one of the best customer services I've ever encountered. They're not, I'm not, they're not sponsoring this video. They're not, I, I'm, I'm just doing this because I like this company. They're also like the thickest beard oil I've ever used. So that one bottle is gonna last you quite a while. On their website, they also have free sampler packs. Um, you can go and just pay like the two bucks shipping and they'll send you a few little bottles of oil that you can test out the scents and see what you'd like. 
um, which is amazing. Also, if you use um, my code, uh, they, have, they, get, they give a promo code for the people that are subscribed to me, uh, and it's SCUBA. If you just type S-C-U-B-A SCUBA into the promo code area, you get 20% off your order. So that takes care of shipping and be, uh, that, that'll make your whole order 20% cheaper. And now, uh, applying beard oil, you're gonna wanna apply beard oil at least once a day. Now, depending on the thickness, so Artie's Man is a, is, a, is a little bit of a separate case because it's a lot thicker, and so you'll have to apply it less because it's gonna last longer than most conventional beard oils. Um, if you're using a regular beard oil, something else, you could, like uh, Honest Amish. Honest Amish is a great beard oil, um, but you'll probably have to apply that twice a day because it's not as thick and it's not as viscous <laughs> as Artie's Man. But yeah, that is what's gonna save you from having that itch because you don't wanna go around looking like a, a gosh darn crackhead okay and by gosh darn I mean goddamn you don't want to be running around scratching your beard all the time because people don't people don't not it, you shouldn't it's not what people like you don't want to be the guy that's itching everywhere people are gonna think you have scabies or herpes or something you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to be that guy so don't be itching everywhere put some beard oil in your beard all right step number three is washing your beard now washing your beard is something that you're gonna want to do as well now, uh, contrary to popular belief, you don't want to wash your beard or even the hair on your head very often, maybe once a week. Uh. Um, but luckily, there's another option, and it's called co-washing, where you condition or wash your beard. Now, if you want to use beard wash, use beard wash. Um, uh, the Artius Man stuff is great. Uh, if you go to their website, look at their, they, the, the, the great, they have really good beard wash, and it's all in there. All, they have so many different scents of everything, so it's a great place to get some, so grab some beard wash if you want that. Um, but you only need to wash your beard like once a week with an actual beard wash. The rest of the time you should be using conditioner to wash your beard. And it's called co-washing, which is another one, it's like a year. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a word combo. Conditioner wash, co-wash, you could call it kosh, ca cash, kosh, kosher, kosher wash, co kosh something, I don't know. We'll just stick with co-wash, okay? It works. Now me personally, when I use uh, conditioner to wash my hair, these are, because I know everybody's going to ask what I use. Okay, so... Um, the one I've been using for a long time has been the bot. Oh my gosh. Oh, my hands are all slippery. Um, the one I've been using the most for a long time is this Fortify from Boss Man. And I'll link that down below. It's a great value. It's a really good uh, conditioner. Um, but recently, I just found this one. I was reading the ingredients online. And this has some pretty interesting ingredients in this uh, Scotch Porter one. And now it's... This one is... How many ounces? How many friggin' at four? This one's four ounces. This one is four ounces and it's like 14 bucks or 15 bucks. This one is only 20 bucks and it's eight ounces. And I've been using this for the past, I'm, I'm gonna be doing a video here soon on this. I'm, go, I'm, can, I'm gonna be co-washing my beard every day uh, for a week straight and seeing what happens and trust in the results. So I've done it for four days now and the results are pretty awesome actually. And I've been using the Scotch Porter stuff because some of the ingredients are actually really cool in here and it's eight ounces, which is twice the amount that's in that one for only 20 bucks. And I did talk to the company, I think I have a discount code or a link that gets, I don't know, but I will put that down below if you click that, I think you will get like a discounted something, I believe, but I'll put the link down below, you can check it out. And they also have a bunch of other stuff that I haven't tried everything they've got yet, but this conditioner has got me hooked so far, I love it, this smells great, it works great, it's awesome. To co-wash your beard simply, you're literally just gonna take, you're literally just gonna take some, uh, some of the conditioner out, or in this case, you squirt it out and you just rub it into your beard and you let it sit for, you know, three, four, five minutes. What I do, right when I get in the shower, I take that out, put it in my beard, then I wash the rest of my body, and then I rinse everything out. That's what I do personally, and that's plenty. So what that's gonna do is it goes back to the whole um, thing with the sebum and the oil in your face. Beard wash is going to mostly strip all those oils and clean everything and just get like a fresh start. Whereas, whereas conditioner washing or co-washing or co caution, cashing, coaching, whatever we, we want to call it, um, is going to help maintain the oils that are in your beard. It doesn't strip all the oils, but it still cleans the hair. So if you're working a job, if you're a lumberjack or you're a mechanic and you're getting stuff in your beard and it's really dirty all the time, co-washing is your answer because it's not only going to clean your beard. Number two, it's going to keep the oils in your beard in there. Not, it's not gonna keep all of them, but a lot of them are gonna stay in there versus washing. You can still wash once a week, maybe once every two weeks, but I would be cautious with how much you do that. And also a lot of people ask, can I use regular hair conditioner or regular hair shampoo? You can, um, but there are a lot of benefits to the specific beard conditioners. Okay, so let's take the Scotch Porter for example. 
It has something called shea butter in it. It has, um, it has coconut oil, it has argan oil, it has jojoba oil. Those are all oils that are great for your face and your skin and your hair. Um, and a lot, you won't find that in a lot of, um, in a lot of hair products that are just like general hair, hair shampoos and hair conditioners. You won't find that. If you do find that in them, by all means, shoot, shoot for that. But a safe bet, if it's, if, um, Something like this, which is meant for a beard specifically, that's your, probably your best bet. And it's only 20 bucks for eight ounces, which will last you a long time. Step number four is gonna be trimming your beard. Now after like the one, two, three month mark, your beard's gonna, you're gonna see a noticeable length in your, your beard and the way it's growing. So uh, most generally what's gonna happen is it's gonna poof out on the sides and the bottom. It's gonna grow like one big round thing. Some people like that shape in their beards and they want that, that rough look and that's fine. Go for it. Shoot for the moon, man. Be you, dude. Do it. But some people want to look like, like this, what I have right here is a, is a look that I like. Um, it's like a perfect look for me. And I trim my beard. I do like a maintenance trim on my beard at least once a month. And once every five or six months, I'll do like a big trim on it and trim it down. But what I use, I use these Brio, Brio Beardscape trimmers. And again, I'm not being paid to talk about these. This is just something I use. They're amazing clippers. I actually got a pair from my barber. He uses these to cut people's hair and then they're amazing. They work really good. Um, they have a variable speed. You can, on just one battery, you're gonna get 180 minutes at the lowest speed, or at the highest speed. And then at the lowest speed, you get 240 minutes. Imagine how, you could charge it one time and for a year, never charge it again, probably. They're amazing trimmers. They work great. They look great. I love them. So I have videos, and I have videos talking specifically about those and how I trim my beard with them. And um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a technique and a way that I get my beard with the, with the short sides and the long bottom to blend, like, not perfectly, but in my eyes, what looks good. Um, to get my beard to blend like that. And I've narrowed it down to a pretty specific art, and I have multiple videos talking about how I trim my beard, how I trim the bottom, the sides, the cheek lines, everything. I have numerous videos on that, so you can go check my channel out, and you'll see those other videos. So trimming your beard, is it would be step number four. Now, before step number five, a little side thing. Um, when your beard is to that length, you get, you get past a certain length to where beard oil just isn't cutting it. And what you need is called beard balm. And a beard balm is basically what a beard oil is, but it, but it adds a beeswax and some other butters to it. And which gives you the qualities of a beard oil, it gives you the moisture, and it gives you a holding power to hold your beard in shape. Like right now I have beard oil in. If I didn't have beard oil in, it'd probably be a little bit scragglier and looking rougher for sure. And I might be itching and stuff like that. Um, but the beard balm is what the beard oil is, but with the power of holding. Also, it lasts way longer than beard oil. Uh, beard balm is gonna last, on average, for me, on average, six to eight hours. Beard oil, three, four, five may hours, maybe tops, depending on which one I use. Artius Man just sent me off the Citrus Grove stuff, and I've been using it a lot. I like it. The scent is amazing. Artius Man has killed it in the scent game, and again, if you go to Artius Man, I'll put their website down below. If you type in SCUBA as your promo code, you get 20% off, which is great for you. Um, saves you some money. And now step number five, last step, is gonna be the just kind of main maintenance during the last months of your year. It's gonna be a different, it's gonna be a different routine for you than when you first started growing it because your hair is a lot longer. Waking up in the morning, um, if you forget to put product in your, in your beard at night before you go to bed, um, you're gonna wake up with a, a, a mess, a freaking wild bushy mess and you don't want that. Trimming becomes more of a task because of how much you have to deal with. Combing it out, I use Kent combs all the time. If you guys don't know what a Kent comb is, it's a really good beard comb. I'll plug those down below. I'll, sh I'll, I'll, put, every, every, I'll put a whole thing down below, uh, links where to get everything, and then I'll pin, it as, I'll pin it as the top comment as well. So if you just look at the top comments, you'll see the, all the links for everything as well. But yeah, in the latter months of your year, um, it's gonna get longer. You're gonna get it to somewhere around this length right here. And you're gonna, one, you're gonna notice people's interactions with you are different. You're gonna notice um, when you, it's like, I don't know if you ever rode a motorcycle and every, every time you ride a boat, when you're riding a motorcycle, you pass on the motorcyclist, you give them the deuces or something like that. It's like a little inside, it's like a little club and you're, and you're a part of it. And so when you see a bearded man, you know, you usually nod at him or something like that and you look at it, you know, check each other's beards out and not a gay way or a gay way. Who knows? I don't know, I don't care. I'm sure, I'm sure guys have looked at my beard in a, in a, in a, in a in a gay way, and I'm okay with that. Another thing is girls. Girls are gonna wanna touch your beard. Now I'm not saying every girl on the street's gonna walk up and touch your beard. Now, I've had that happen before at a grocery store or something like that, a woman will wanna touch my beard. Or at the gas station or something, they'll wanna touch it or feel it. 
like, oh my God, it's so soft. What do you do? What do you put in it? How do you take care of it? How long is it? How long? And you get all the questions, of course, and you're gonna get those from everybody. How long have you been growing your beard? What'd you do? How'd you, uh, what, you know, all that stuff. You're gonna, you're gonna, you'll, you'll learn as you go. There's a whole, f <laughs> there's a whole slew of things that comes along with having a beard as, as far as social interactions go. Um, but girls will definitely want to touch your beard, especially if you're out at a bar or something like that. Um, they're much more prone to want to touch your beard. And if that's what you're looking for, you want girls to interact with you like that, the, the beard is the perfect icebreaker for that. Um, I also, um, speaking of that, I just I actually just designed another shirt, which is specifically for that situation. And I'm not wearing it right now, I didn't feel like changing. It says, ask me before touching, and it has a big picture of a beard on it. And I'll link that down below. I'll show you like the design. I'll put the design right, I'll put the design right here or something. It says, ask me before touching. And what that does, what it will do is it will put the thought in the girl's head, wait, I, do I want to touch his beard? <laughs> and that'll be a great icebreaker as far as that. As long as you can hold a conversation and whatnot. Also, this is Hansel and this is Corey. Corey's got that, the crazy mean stare. It's kind of scared of the guy, man. And then Hansel over here, that name, Hansel. I wish I had that name, Hansel. Dude, that would be the best. That's like the coolest name probably ever. I might name my son that, I don't know. But they bought the, they bought the channel shirts and as you guys know, if you guys buy one, all you gotta do is send me an email at beardtubemail at gmail.com if you bought one, and I will put you in the video like these two guys. <coughs> so thanks Hansel and thanks Corey for buying the shirts. Appreciate it. Everybody else that's emailed, I will be getting to you. I'm getting to you. I'm getting to you guys. It's hard to keep up with the people that are buying the shirts and that, but I'm, but I'm doing it. But yeah guys, that's how to grow a yard. I'll make a few more videos about this, about the whole yard thing. Um, some specific things you might need to know. Number one, subscribe to the channel if you like me, if you like this video, if you like my channel, if you uh, if you think I should move out of my mom's basement. Uh, number <laughs> two, hit the like button because gosh, because I said so. And you do, you do as I say, young man. Just do it, do it or, I'll, or I'll squirt this conditioner all over the damn carpet. Right, I'll do it. Don't make me get crazy. Hit the thumbs up button. And then leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'm trying to get better at responding to you guys. I know in the beginning I was so good at responding to everybody. Now I've kind of like lulled off because there's so many comments coming in and I'm trying. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to get better at that. I'm trying to get better at engaging with you guys. All the links will be down below for all the stuff you need as well as the new shirt. If you want to order it, you can. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Stay bearded. Later.